Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Nicole, and welcome back to another story of the week. And I am so excited to be reading with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and check in with ourselves first. So if you need to pause here and take a deep breath, feel free to do so. And then think to yourself, how am I feeling today? So while you're thinking, I'll go ahead and get our chart. So as I said, I am excited. So I am at a zero. So if you are excited like me, you are here. If you're happy, you're at a one. If you're content, you're at a two. If you're sad, you're at a three. If you're mad, you're at a four. Or if you're feeling frustrated today, you're at a five. Now remember, any number you feel is okay. I just hope I'm able to put a little bit of a smile on your face by the time we're done. So now let's go ahead and get into our story time schedule. So we start with our hello song first, and then we reach up and do our books to the ceiling song. Good job. And then we move and shake for our two, four, six, eight shake song. And then it will be time for our story of the week. And then it will be time for our new song called Here is an Apple. What kind of letter does the word apple start with? So I want you to think about that because that has to do with our story. And then it will be time for our good books, good time song. And then it will be time to say goodbye. But we are not ready to do that because we have to say hello first. Go ahead and get your hello hands out so I can say hello to you and you can say hello to me. And remember, we do the song two times. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I hope that you are too. Good job. Let's go ahead and stretch our hands and arms up for our Books to the Ceiling song. Are you ready? Here we go. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. And then we're going to stretch up again. My pile of books is 10 miles high. And give yourself a big hug now. How I love them. How I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. Good job. Go ahead. If you want to participate in our shaking song, find a safe an open spot to move because we are going to do our two, four, six, eight shake song. All right, friends, here we go. Let's do our two, four, six, eight shake song. So remember, we start off with a number eight and we're shaking each hand and arm and each leg and foot. We're shaking it eight times and then six and then four, two, and then we're do one big shake and a blast big jump. Here we go, two, four, six, eight, shake. So we'll start off with our right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we switch to the next hand and arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then switch down to your leg and foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now we count to six. Start back up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And shake again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then switch again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. All right, here we go. Now we count to four. Back up here. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch down. One, two, three, four, switch. Good job. Okay, now it's gonna get a little faster now. We count to two. Here we go. We're gonna add two jumps at the end. Ready? One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch, one, two, switch, and then two jumps, one, two, good job. All right, now we do one big shake each section and one big jump at the end. Here we go. One, 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 one. Good job, friends. All right, friends, now that we've gotten all of our silly shaken out, let's go ahead and get into our story of the week. Do you remember the question that I asked? What letter does the word apple start with? Well, if you guessed A, you are correct. Good job. 
So the letter A has to do with our story this week because our story is all about letters. Are you ready to find out what it is? Our story of the week is called A is for Apple, unless by Tom Llewellyn. So these are all the letters of the alphabet that we're gonna see, but each letter comes with something silly. Are you ready to read? Let's read together. A is for apple. Unless you're being chased by a blood-sucking vampire, then A is for ah! B is for ball. Unless a ball just smashed me in the belly, then B is for barf. C is for cat. Unless you're a cat, then C is for the canary you just ate. Bad kitty. D is for dog. Unless you have a dog, and it's your job to clean up after him, then D is for doo-doo. E is for elephant. But if you have an elephant instead of a dog, then E is for extremely large shovel. Ew. F is for frog. Unless you had beans for dinner, then F is for a smelly noise that rhymes with Art. <laughs> what do you think the word is? G is for glass. But if someone just made a smelly noise that rhymes with art, then G is for... Geez, why do you always blame me? It was probably the dog. H is for hat. Unless you're sitting next to the person, or dog, who made a smelly noise that rhymes with art, then H is for hold your breath. I is for ice cream, and if you scream loud enough and long enough, you'll probably get some. J is for jam, but if you don't have any jam, then just take two pieces of bread and jam them together. K is for kangaroos. Kangaroos are cute. Unless your kangaroos know karate, then K is for kapow. L is for lambs, which are cute but L might be for lamb chops, which are delicious, especially if you're a wolf. M is for monkey. Unless you have mountains of money, then M can be for whatever you want. It can even be for apple if you're rich enough. N is for nose. Unless you just picked your nose, then N is for nasty, you nasty nose picker. O is for orange. Unless you already knew that, then O is for... Oh, that's so obvious. P is for P. And P is the strongest letter in the alphabet. Even Superman can't hold it. Q is for Queen. Even queens have to pee sometimes. And poop, too. R is for Ring. If you're in love with the queen, you should give her a ring. But you should probably wait until she comes out of the bathroom. S is for snake. Unless your sister is afraid of snakes and screams a lot, then S is for shh. T is for tree. Tell your sister you put your snake away. It's safe for her to come down from the tree now. U is usually for umbrella, but it should be for undies. If you ever have to choose between undies and an umbrella, choose the undies, because you can go to school without an umbrella. V is for violin. But if that ball smashes me in the stomach one more time, then let's say it's for vomit. I'm gonna go before I get hit by that ball again. Blech. W is for watch, as in, watch me find that kid who keeps hitting me with the ball. X is for x-ray, unless it's for xylophone. But that's it. With X, it's either one or the other. Y is for yo-yo, or yak liver with yam sauce. Yuck! Z is for zoo and zebra and zipper. Unless we're all done, then Z is for the end. Wow, friends, so this book was pretty special with the letters of the alphabet, huh? Each letter added a silly little story or twist at the end. And I don't know about you, but I had so much fun reading about the letters of our alphabet. 
Speaking of that, we're going to get into our new song, which is called Here is an Apple, in honor of celebrating the letter A for apple. So take your hand like this, and you can use your pointer and your thumb together, and we're gonna make a circle and say, here is an apple. Good job. And then we're gonna lift up the other hand and do the same on the other side. Here is an apple. Now we're gonna make one big circle with our arms and say, a great big apple, I see. Let's count the apples we've made. So we made one, two, and three apples. Good job, friends. Now we're gonna go into our clapping song, which is our good books, good time song. So let's get a beat. We're gonna start in three, two, one, here we go. Good books, good times, good stories, good rhymes, good beginnings, good ends, good people, good friends, good fiction, good facts, good adventures, good acts, good stories, good rhymes, good books, good times. Good job, friends. And now it's time for us to sing our goodbye song, but only until next week. Are you ready? So remember, we clap our hands and then we're gonna stomp our feet and then we wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, now we're gonna stomp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. And now we wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, until next week. My friends, thank you so much for joining me this week with our silly alphabet story, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.